Hello everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial on how to get started with the WPF PDF Viewer from Syncfusion. In this video, you will learn how to add a PDF Viewer control to a WPF project and how to load and view a PDF document in it. You will also learn how to use a few of PDF Viewer's editing and interactive features like navigation, annotation, redaction and more. So let's get started. In this video, I'll use Visual Studio 2017. I have already created a WPF project. Now let's see how to add the PDF Viewer control from the toolbox. In the toolbox, under the Syncfusion control section, you will find PDF Viewer. Syncfusion controls will be configured in the toolbox when you install Syncfusion WPF Essential Studio. If you are using NuGet, then Toolbox will show PDF Viewer once you install syncfusion.pdfviewer.wpf-nuget in the project reference. I'll drag the PDF Viewer and drop it in the designer window. And I'll set the layout to reset all. So the control will occupy all the available window space. Now let's see how to load a PDF document from the local system to PDF Viewer. In this project, I'll create a class named view model, which implements the iNotify property changed interface and define a property named document stream for binding. Next, I'll create a constructor for view model. Here, I'll read a PDF file by creating an instance of file stream and then load a PDF document from a local path. Next, I need to bind the file stream to PDF Viewer. In XAML, I'll set the Windows Data Context property to View Model. And bind the Document Stream property of View Model to PDF Viewer's Item Source property to load the document. Now let's run the application. You will see PDF Viewer with a built in toolbar and a loaded PDF document. Let's look at the built-in features of PDF Viewer. I will get started with the zoom in and zoom out features. To zoom in or out, I'll change the zoom percentage level in the toolbar. You can also perform zoom operations by pressing the control key and rolling the mouse wheel forward or backward direction. As our PDF Viewer supports touch interactions, zoom and in all other operations can be efficiently performed on touch devices. You can fit the size of the PDF file to fill the window using the fit to width option and display one page at a time using the single page view option. Next, we will look at a few navigation options in PDF Viewer. Rather than scrolling through a document, PDF Viewer allows you to reach your desired page immediately by manually entering the page number in the page number box. Also, the toolbar has navigation buttons to navigate to the first, last, next, and previous pages. You can also navigate to a desired page using thumbnails. To navigate through thumbnails, click the thumbnail icon on the left side of the toolbar. Now, you can view previews of all the pages. You can zoom in and out of the thumbnails by using the slider or by the buttons. I'll click the preview image and immediately that will let me reach the page. If the document contains a hyperlink, just click it to view the link in the browser. I have opened a document that contains bookmarks, so I can view the bookmarked pages by clicking this bookmark icon and easily reach a specific page. If you have a table of contents in the document, click the topic and that will allow you to reach that topic page. Next, we will see how to search text in the document. If you want to search for a specific word or phrase, just click the search icon in the toolbar and type the text that needs to be searched in the search box and the occurrence of the target text will be highlighted in the document. You can also view the search box by pressing Ctrl F. 
You can select text in a document by simply dragging the mouse over the required area. To copy the selected text, I'll right click in the selected area and click the copy option. Now the text will be copied to the clipboard. You can also copy the selected text by pressing Ctrl C. Next, I'll show how to annotate a PDF document. Annotation is a way of adding additional information to an existing point. PDF Viewer supports many ways to add and edit annotations such as ink annotations, shape annotations, stamp annotations, sticky note annotations, text annotations, and text markup annotations. Ink annotations let you draw freeform lines. To add notes, I'll right click the drawing. Now I can view a context menu and I'll select the open pop-up note option. Now I can add information to it. Other than freeform, you can use predefined shapes like lines, rectangles, circles, etc. to add annotations from the drawing tool option. And there is predefined text you can use from the stamp option. With sticky note annotation, you can use a few predefined icons from the sticky note options. You can see a default comment icon is added. To change the applied icon, I'll right click it. From this option, I'll select properties. Under the appearance section, you can view a few listed icons. I'll select one and click OK. You can add free text annotations by clicking the Add Text Box option. PDF Viewer supports three text markup annotations like Highlight, Underline, and Strike Through. Now we'll see how to include handwritten signatures in the PDF document. This feature will help you to add your own signature to the PDF document. You can modify, remove, and flatten the existing ones. In the panning mode, dragging and scrolling of pages can be easily performed in any direction using mouse and touch interactions. Next, we'll see how easy it is for you to organize a PDF document using PDF Viewer. For that, I'll click the Organize icon in the left toolbar. Now, you can view preview of all the pages in the document. By hovering over a page, you can see three icons. I'll click the first icon so you can see that the page is rotated in a counterclockwise direction. The second icon also rotates the page but in a clockwise direction. The third icon deletes the page from the document. You can change the order of the document by simply dragging the page to the desired location. You can perform the previous operations for multiple pages. To select more than one page, Press the control key and select multiple pages. Now I'll show how to perform redaction in PDF Viewer. If you want to remove confidential information from the document, then you can redact the content. For example, I'll show how to redact this paragraph. First, I'll click the redact icon on the left side toolbar. You can see a new toolbar with redaction options listed. Here, you will see the mark for redaction option I'll click that and drag the mouse over the paragraph. Now I'll click the apply option and the information in that area will be removed from the document. I have opened a PDF document that has layers. So when I click the layers icon in the left toolbar, you can view the list of layers in the panel. You can toggle the visibility of the individual layers and the group of layers by clicking the eye icon that is corresponding to each layer in the layer section. Now I'll open a form document and I'll be able to fill, edit, flatten and save data using the acroform field in the document. This helps when you need to enter data into a PDF document. You can also export and import form data using PDF Viewer. You can save a modified document by clicking the save option in the toolbar. You can print the document by clicking the print icon on the toolbar and change the default print settings in the print dialog box. You can also perform silent printing in PDF Viewer. To perform silent printing, call the print method of PDF Viewer. And when you run the application, 
Printing will happen with default print settings. So we have seen how to add the PDF viewer control to a WPF project and how to bind a PDF document to it. Also, we learn how to use a few interactive features. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.